What's up team, it is Murdering here, back at it with another Raid Shadow Legends video today talking about Future Fusion, the Christmas, Holiday, New Year, whatever you want to call it, Legendary Fusion coming out. The question is, what have we been up to so far? Have you guys gone for this epic fusion that's currently active right now? The What's his name? His name is, if I can even find him because I haven't started him yet. Vildrax, okay, this is the fusion we're talking about here. What are we doing? Are you going for him? Are you not going for him? Personally, I know I'm going to pull enough shards to probably eventually get him. I don't see anything that really stands out to me. He could be oriented towards the Doom Tower. Not really confirmed yet. One thing I do want to talk about, AoB Hex. He has the ability to extend the duration of debuffs and put one skill on cooldown. It's pretty cool, yes, but we want to talk about the Legendary Fusion that's going to come up. And if I remember correctly from last year, we had back-to-back -back fusions pretty quickly in those winter seasons. So keep that in mind when spending resources on this epic here. And the question is, what do we need? I'm kind of asking you guys, what kind of fusion would you like to see? You can definitely take a look at the free-to-play login reward champions, kind of knock some things off the list. We have Sill of Drakes, we have Visix, we have most people have Ninja, unless you're really, really new and don't have Ninja. So that kind of narrows down what we really need as a player base. Now, if I was going to be selfish or speak for myself and the people who are very endgame, we just want a cool champion that looks cool. Maybe he's overpowered like Tormund was, Rodos. Probably not going to see that again based on all of the nerfs that have happened in the past, but we don't really need any AoE damage dealers per se. I mean, we have so many options already, but as a whole, I'm kind of wondering what you guys think that we really need for this next upcoming fusion. A CC champion, are we going to get an introduction to some of the new things coming out for the game, or are we going to get a Hydra clan boss champion now the reason why i personally don't want a hydra clan boss champion is going to be because of bommel now this is why i say because of bommel if you think about bommel they they being plarium they were saying things like he's going to be a bomb boss and you want to use bomb debuffs for this champion when they come out and we all know how that turned out there are many strategies, most of which aren't including bomb champions to get through bomb. So this is why I personally, I'm not going to say player is not qualified to make a champion for content. A perfect example, Drekstar, amazing champion. He was released early in the bazaar for 3v3. Then we found out he was going to be, I mean, listen, he's incredible for the Doom Tower. They did really good in that front, but I don't think they should release a fusion for this holiday season that's legendary. Or the hydra because players will always know best doesn't matter how much the developers are playing the game here we as the players will always make the meta teams for every piece of content that's going to come out and it's probably going to be different than what they envision the same thing happens with pretty much every single game so that's kind of my simple reason why i don't think we should get a hydra clan boss fusion out just yet because they might have an idea as to what's going to be able to be the meta but they're not going to know until we as the players decide that for ourselves so outside of that the question is what do you guys need if i had to take a guess and speak of the majority once again end game players you're not going to like this i do personally think we could use a spider champion not quite like sir nicholas but possibly similar with the shield function aoe hp burn with a full turn meter deplete that would be really nice good quality of life in my opinion spiders probably the hardest dungeon for most players in this game of course fire knight is rather tricky as well however that dungeon does kind of cater to more end game players when they are farming that and if you are in fact end game farming fire knight you probably have the team to do it relatively quickly spider on the other hand if you don't have certain champions you are definitely going to struggle a case could be made that people are using ninja right now for the spider Honestly, I don't think Ninja is that great. He does have a freeze. It's not very consistent though. So my perfect pick for a champion, in my opinion at least, you guys can let me know what you think, of course, is for this Christmas fusion, give us an HP burn, a freeze, and a turn meter 
decrease on a champion that's catered specifically for spider i'm sure we'll find many other uses and of course we would in fact be able to use that for the hydra because aoe hp burn is going to be a viable option for that just by seeing the fact that it has four heads even though one of them has that interaction where it reduces damage from hp burn and aoe's altogether however that's not really the point here so my personal vote spider 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 let me know what you guys think I don't really think we need more arena champions. I think we have plenty of options as it is now. The only thing that I kind of briefly touched on that I'm willing to revisit is going to be the fact that we haven't seen increase resistance or decrease resistance. I know I just did a video on that, kind of giving my point of view on it and how it's strange and I have no idea how they're going to approach it pretty much at all because it makes no sense no matter how much I think about it. But that's just the way I feel. So are we going to see one of these new champions in the format of a fusion? If so, how mandatory is it going to be? Is it going to be another one of those Bragni fusions that are rather expensive? The same thing with Brachis, Bragni, Brachis, and Foley. If you remember from quite a long time ago now, they were very expensive fusions. So I think if they do introduce something like increase or decrease accuracy, I would expect it to be honestly and i hate to say this but rather expensive to get to make sure the player base isn't just flooded with it and it kind of sucks because that does make it more pay to win than it already is so that's kind of my feedback i'm looking for what you guys think as always because every single player is going to have a different account and different opinion on what they need however i think for the most part we're going to see quite a few comments kind of clashing together saying we all need this type of champion this type once again when stating what champion you think we should get or what type of champion you can even include a faction taking a quick look at the faction list here and who we have too many of of course high elf dark elf undead we keep getting tons of them i'm not sure why are they going to add even more shadowkin they already have are they going to start filling up the dwarves again dwarves do kind of have a holiday theme if they choose that then again we just had pixneal and you know pixneal is another story so hopefully they don't release another champion that needs a buff that would be terrible but keep in mind sill of drakes arbiter we have access to them Razin, permanent fusion think about what he does defense down and we can even though it is a single target that ate you with the turn meter down physics incredible crowd control ninja decent nuker i guess we don't really have any given to us nukers then again a case can be made for kale the starter or pretty much any starter they have decent attack multipliers and of course i've made videos gearing them in absurd end game gear and watching them just one shot everything so let me know what you guys think. Give me some of your feedback. What's your insight? What are you feeling? If I had to guess when this fusion is going to come out, I would say if today is November 25th, and I don't really know how long this fusion is going to last. So let's take a quick look here. Bildrax Fragment Event, December 3rd, December 3rd, I believe. Okay, so it does look like December 3rd is going to be the last day if i'm looking at all of this correctly so i would expect this to happen rather quickly after december 3rd maybe we get a week in between hopefully we do get a week so we can kind of rebuild some more resources if you are planning to go after vildrax here so keep all of this in mind when you're kind of going after these fragments so you don't spread yourself too thin we don't get to whatever this christmas fusion or this holiday season fusion is going to be and you end up having to spend money when you could have planned a little bit better coming up to this vildrax epic demon spawn fusion here all right guys that's going to conclude my video today just a brief one kind of touching with you guys seeing what you guys are up to in the game and wondering what do you need out of a fusion that's going to come up it's kind of i mean you can really think of this as the premier fusion of the year because this is a huge holiday. They always go pretty hard with this. So it's going to be interesting to see what we do in fact get. As always, if you enjoy this content, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bells, and I will see you all in my next upload.